On November 12, 2024, the Aviation Industry Corporation of China unveiled its ambitious six-generation fighter concept, the BID, at the Chuhai International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition. This full-scale model, named after a deity from China's Shang Dynasty, showcases China's inspirations in cutting-edge aeronautical engineering. Though conceptual, the BID reflects China's intent to lead the race in next-generation air combat technology. The BID is the product of China's Nantianmen Project, a national initiative aimed at integrating atmospheric and space-based technologies. The fighter is theoretically capable of reaching the common line, the boundary of space at approximately 100 kilometers above Earth. This bold design places the BID on the frontier of aerospace operations, with potential role spanning high altitude interception, reconnaissance, and space-based warfare. A hallmark of the BID is its enlarged internal weapons bay designed to house a variety of heavy air-to-ground munitions. By concealing its arsenal within its fuselage, the aircraft reduces radar signature while retaining considerable firepower. This feature allies with sixth-generation fighter principles which emphasize stealth, adaptability, and lethality. The BID features human-machine interaction systems optimized for modern combat. Its cockpit with a dark, multifaceted canopy minimizes radar reflections and shields the pilot from targeting lasers and infrared detection. These advancements point to a potential for network warfare, allowing pilots to process vast amounts of battlefield data while minimizing vulnerability. The BID boasts an angular, zero-to-wing design that emphasizes stealth and aerodynamic efficiency. Its pointed nose adds atmospheric penetration, while the sharp wing edges enhance agility and maneuverability at supersonic speeds. While these elements are visually striking, they remain speculative, with no operational validation to date. The BID symbolizes China's inspirations to establish air dominance in multi-domain battlefields, including area, space, and cyber domains. If realized, the concept could redefine roles in high-altitude air combat long-range strikes, and even anti-satellite missions. Such capabilities align with China's broader military modernization strategy, which seeks to challenge Western air power dominance. However, the BID is still a conceptual model. The technical hurdles to achieving its high altitude capabilities and stealth performance remain substantial. For example, propulsion systems capable of reaching near space altitudes are in early stages of development globally. Additionally, integrating the fighter into a broader operational framework will require significant advancements in artificial intelligence, sensor fusion, and directed energy weapons. China's BID enters a competitive landscape of six-generation fighter concepts. The U.S. Air Force Next Generation Air Dominance Program has reportedly developed a flying prototype with capabilities that include AI co-pilots, advanced stealth, and network-centric warfare. Unlike the BID, this program focuses less on space-based operations and more on battlefield interoperability and squirming technologies. In Europe, the Future Combat Air System 
a joint project by France, Germany, and Spain, emphasizes a systems of systems approach into creating man fighters with swarms of drones. In Russia, while lacking in prototype development, Russia's MiG-41 concept is reportedly designed for high altitude, hypersonic operations, somewhat akin to the Baidi. In comparison, the Baidi stands out for its theoretical integration of space-based capabilities, marking an ambitious direction that exceeds most contemporary designs. The BID reflects China's long-term vision, but faces significant obstacles before it can transition from concept to operational reality. Deployment will likely hinge on breakthroughs in propulsion systems, material science, and AI-based systems. Furthermore, the development timeline for such cutting-edge technologies typically spans decades, leaving the BIT as a symbol of ambition rather than immediate capability. Once operational, the BID could serve the People's Liberation Army efforts and potentially see limited export to China's strategic allies. However, it relies on classified technologies and high costs may restrict its proliferation. The BID sixth generation fighter concept underscores China's intent to push the boundaries of aerospace technology aiming to create a combat aircraft that redefines air warfare. Whilst their a technological vision, its design and integration with the Nanxianman project reflect the future trajectory of China's defense industry. In the global arena, the BID adds a new dimension to the ongoing race for air superiority. Whether China can overcome the technological challenges and make the BIT a reality will significantly influence the balance of power in the 21st century.